I guess the thesis statement for this to be how, how books, literature, uh, and, and just general culture influence a person's uh, just just acceptance or of the norm or get indoctrinated into that culture, whatever that culture is, whether it's uh, you know living in Indiana, or whether it's like in Florida, or whether it's California, or whether it's you know five towns Long Island, New York, and I you know learning how to read, yeah, I would just try to read whatever they they gave me, and, and I got into a I guess a Judy Bloom kick, which is what like uh, Blubber, Tales of the Fourth Grade, Nothing, um, I don't forgot everything. Um, I don't forgot the other ones. Uh, well, forever came, you know, later, but, but, you know, where it gives a privy into uh, how I think things should be or need to be, whether they get realized or not. And if my experiences were not similar to, I guess, experiences that are being in, uh, you know, readings or, or culture, then, you know, I must be missing out on something, whether it's, you know, I, I, what was that? Yeah, but whether it's it's Porky's on cable, or wh whether it's I don't know, just some other. You know, if it's a magazine, and you know, with with articles saying, oh, so and so, you know, five things you need to know about blah blah blah. And w when you're a kid, you know, you 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 take it for what it is, and so, you, or at least I did, and uh, so it's not matching my cultural way I'm looking at it because all I'm thinking about is well if I'm reading these things and I'm expecting somebody else to be that way what if I mean if they read the thing then why would they be that way you know I, I kind of overthought the whole process it's almost kind of like if you if 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 everybody's reading the same material then how is anybody getting one over it's kind of like uh, if, if, if somebody reads Cosmopolitan and says five ways to make somebody, you know, to have a guy like you or full, whatever the, whatever the copy title is, or maybe teen magazine says that, or, you know, some kind of book says it, then why would it work? Because if, if two people are reading, it's like how to make this person do this for you or how to do this or how to, if everybody's reading it, then no, it doesn't everybody know the same scam or not scam, but same manipulation, same they say. And I'm not saying scam good or otherwise. I'm just saying that's the way I think about it is Anytime there's a tagline of, oh, you know, five secrets, well, no longer a secret. Why, why is that the attractive quality? Is it a secret? But, you know, you're still going to cling to it. But for people who don't know it, boom, they go to know it. And it's all arbitrary in a sense for me. Uh, what is it? The, the Judy Bloom thing, you know, where, where I forgot which one it is, but the, the whole, the whole, like, I must increase my bust. So now I'm thinking, wh why, you know, that are all girls fourth, fifth grade, or whatever, at six, you know, they're all concerned about that. And then I come into it with that kind of prejudice or, yeah, prejudice, like a prejudgment. It's like this book gave me, told me that this is what to expect. And then does the expectation line up? Um, same thing with, same thing with, uh, you know, all the girl characters in, Whichever one that was, I forgot. It's not. It's not tales of the fourth grade. Nothing clearly because there's. The, it's the one where she gets the period, but she said like it was girls competing. Oh yeah, I've gotten it, and then one girl like was lying about it because she wanted to be the you know, you know, too cool for school, and then she gets busted at the end because she really like gets it, and then it's oh my god, get my mom or something like that, and you know I don't. I don't you know, I didn't associate that part with the culture, clearly because I, I wasn't a girl at the time going through any kind of puberty or any of that stuff, but it just wasn't in accordance. It, it's it's almost uh, like watching, you know, in fourth or fifth grade, you know, if you're watching pornography or reading, um, you know, any kind of uh, pornography magazine with, with uh, those sideline, you know, uh, fantasy things, it's not that I, I didn't know that it was fiction, but it's almost that, is that the way it's supposed to be? It, does that, does... Does a work of fiction or fantasy dictate to others how reality should be, and then they go chasing that reality, manifesting it, perpetuating it, and it co and it goes onward and onward. And you know, coming in from Israel, different culture, I almost felt stunted because then it's like the American culture, and I'm having a hard time resolving between the two. Because as I'm getting older, I'm getting older in American culture, and it's just not fitting. 
because I'm overthinking the situation of, oh, is this how it's supposed to be? So by reading these books that are telling me, oh, this is in a slice of American experience and I'm not experiencing that American experience, I'm feeling either lacking or I'm feeling like I, that's the thing I should be going for. And it's sort of manipulating me to that end. I'm not saying bad or good or indifferent. It's just manipulating me to that end. And the same thing with forever. I mean, what is that? Two 12, like 13 year olds, like having sex, right? So then what's wrong? I think it was, like, I think it was 13. I don't know. I, maybe I haven't, I mean, I should revisit those books, but makes you, makes me, made me think later on. I'm like, what's wrong with me? Why aren't these milestones occurring as they seem to profess in these books or something like that? So, but it, it is that collection of to what extent does the culture that we surround ourselves with influence our very wiring, indoctrinating us into a culture of expectation that may or may not come to fruition. Who knows? Everybody's different. Everybody's personality is different. But does, does an external medium like books or movies or literature or poems or music, anything, lyrics, influence the, oh, I'm supposed to be doing A or B or C, and I'm supposed to be doing it like this or like that or how somebody else is telling me to do it. And it's not the same. And then even people that rebel against the, oh, people are telling me how to do this, so I'm going to go the other way. It's not like the other way is that brilliant. You're, you're still responding to the stimulation by going the other way. It's not like you went the other way just naturally on your own. And maybe even if you did, was it subconscious, unconscious? And so a lot of those precautions, precautionary measures started coming to me where I'm saying like it, it, the hesitation, does it supposed to go this way? What if it's not? How is this? What are these things representing? These elements, these experiences of mine, whether I'm looking at my, at my uh, stepbrother or stepsister in terms of those elements, in terms of their experiences, where are they? And uh, yeah, that's about as uh, coherent as I guess I can be this evening regarding my binging out on uh, Judy Bloom books and other American cultural iconic uh, works of uh, the 80s or early mid 80s. And to what degree, I guess, that uh, influences and perpetuates the influence. You know, anyway, thanks for listening.